Dear Black Girl, Are you tired of products labeling themselves saying for all hair types or for type 1A to 3C? Do they forget about type 4 kinky curly hair models? No worries. Belly Bar Organic is an all-vegan, natural hair care line for type 4 hair. If you haven't seen my part 1 unboxing, stop what you're doing and watch it before continuing. The link will be down below in the description box. What is up to my curl mafia squad? It's your girl, inhale my curls, back in the cut with another video. Stay tuned. you guys so welcome back now that you've seen part one let's go in with part two on things you would need you will need a bowl measuring spoon the belly organics Chevy powder growth hair mask then you'll be using any kind of conditioner of your choice I chose to use my organics hydrating conditioner so this is totally up to you on what conditioner you choose they do tell you to add a conditioner with it and that was just my choice. So these are all the products I'm gonna be using for part one, making my hair mask. So Belly Bar allows you to customize and make your own hair products, which is pretty interesting. So I'm gonna go in with two teaspoons of my hair mask powder. It does have a resealable top so that you can secure it and reuse it every day or every week how after and you like to do hair masks on your hair. So that is really nice about this product. It does not have the best of smells, but you guys, honestly, what good natural hair product has the best smell? And then secondly, you're going to go in with just a little bit of warm water and mix it up. So um, I did apply water as needed. I didn't really measure out how much water I applied in this product. But the goal is to stir it up really nicely to get rid of all the lumps and clumps that um, the product originally had. So after you stir that up enough, you guys what your product should look like. So this is what it looks like as of now. After I've stirred it up and got rid of all my lumps and everything, it's really milky and it doesn't look like the best of products. But next we're going to go in with our conditioner. And so like I mentioned, I'm going to be using the Magongo Oil Hydrating Conditioner from My Oil Organics. And again, it didn't really tell you how much conditioner to apply, but I only put one tablespoon of the conditioner inside of my hair mask and lastly I'm just gonna stir this up and this is all you have to do to make your own customized hair mask Alright you guys, so I already washed my hair off camera using the exfoliating shampoo by My Oil Organics. So all I'm going to do now is go ahead and section my hair off and get ready to prep it so that I can apply my Chad Growth Hair Mask which encourages growth and thickness in kiki hair. This product is 100% active, concentrated, organic ingredients. It is non-toxic, cruelty free, no preservatives plant-based and is also vegan friendly and this product in the small container can make nine hair masks. This product is supposed to help with moisture retention and a few of the ingredients are avocado fruit powder, cassia powder, apple seed oil, Jamaican castor oil, parsley, ginseng, burdock roots, and needle. So as I told you guys, the product does not have the best smell, but honestly, what good product that is all natural, organic based, having a nice smell to it. All right, so they do recommend you to do a trial piece of your hair before doing your entire head, covering it with the product. So I'm going to do this small piece as my trial. And if it works and I don't feel like it's going to pull my hair out or break my hair off or anything, then I'm going to stop talking and let you guys just finish watching me apply this product.
Alright you guys, so it tells you to keep this on for an hour and then rinse out with cold water. So, um, as you guys see in the video, I did do this section differently than how I did my entire hair. That is because I started running out of <laughs> product. Um, so, if you have thicker hair than me, then I recommend you doubling the amount of tablespoons that you need. I did two teaspoons and the two teaspoons was like barely enough to get through my thin hair. So if you have thicker kinkier hair, which is this is for type 4 hair, then I recommend you double in the amount. You should probably still get the same results, but obviously your hair is thicker so you're going to need more product. So again, I did run out. So now we are going to run back upstairs and start making the next product. This whole entire line is all customized. You make it yourself. So I think that's really cool. So while this is, you know, processing in my hair for the next hour, we're going to go ahead and start making the next one so that when I rinse this out, we can jump into the next product that we're going to be using by Belly Bar Organics. So I will see you guys upstairs. Guys, right, so the next part, we're going to be using the Cairo Marshmallow Root, and this is a ultra slip detangler. So this product requires you to have boiling water. So that's why you see my boiling water. And it comes with a little small little coffee bag inside which is really nice because at first I was kind of nervous on how they're going to get this little bag that they asked you to use. So if you reach inside this product it will come with a little coffee bag that you can drain with and so what you're going to do is get one tablespoon of the marshmallow root and you are going to empty that content inside of your little bag like so and once you have tilted that inside of the bag make sure you guys secure the top by pulling it all the way because you do not want this product to come out of the bag so after you have distributed that inside of the bag make sure you pull your drawstring and seal it tight or secure the bag <laughs> but after i do that you're going to place it back in this bowl and you are going to get one cup of boiling water you guys, if you're under 13, please get a parent to help you with this. But you're going to get your one cup of boiling water. And I'm going to pour it inside of my measuring cup. And I'm going to allow the product to sit there and kind of absorb that water and make the process a little faster. So after I pour my one cup of boiling water in, I allowed it to sit for three minutes until it was kind of warm because I was trying to burn my hand. But it does tell you to wait three minutes and kind of stir the um, bag up inside the water. So after three minutes, you guys will start seeing the thick gel type liquid that is going to fall from the bag. And that stuff is what you're going to actually be using. So now I'm going to squeeze my bag and it tells you to repeat this exact same step about three or four times. It does feel really icky, but... Um, it does not have a bad smell, which is kind of nice. It has a neutral scent. So you're going to strain that into your bowl like so. done this about three or four times you are going to pour your liquid as well as your gel together inside of a spray bottle if you don't have a spray bottle anything that's similar to a spray bottle or resembles a spray bottle and that is what you're going to use to actually apply this to your scalp All right, so now that I'm done with that part, let's go back in and let's go ahead and rinse out this part one product of the hair mask. I'm going to do this off camera just because for purposes of the length of the video. So next I'm going to show you guys my results. So this is my results after I have rinsed out my hair mask. My hair is super soft. Although the product was really gritty and I was really unsure about it, you guys, my curls were soft and bouncy. And now we are going to go back into part two using this product that we just made. Make sure you have it shaken up really well and not all the gel straight at the bottom. 
Um, so I started off using the spray bottle and it would not come out. So I had to try something different and use my Sally's hair applicator bottle. But I am going to be going in with the Argan Oil Shine and Moisture Hair Butter. And this is supposed to help with locking in moisture. And due to this hurricane that's currently happening right now, I don't really have patience with my hair and my hair has been super dry. So I'm just going to do mini twists all over. I'm not going to record the entire process, but I will come back to show you guys the final results. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications. You will not regret it. So as I mentioned, this is my day six out of day seven daily uploads. I am trying to upload every day for you guys just to do something different. So again, I'm just going to be applying the Cairo Marshmallow Ultra Slip Detangler for Super Slip. And again, these have the exact same ingredients of the non-toxic, cruelty-free, no preservatives, 100% active, concentrated, organic ingredients as the first one. And you guys, shrinkage is real. But I'm, like I said, I'm just going to be doing mini twists all over my hair as a low manipulative style just to hold moisture so I can get through the rest of this storm. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you in my next video. Whip and go roll, nigga thought I go boom. I won't even break a sweat. I'ma just call my goons.